Europe in 2023, but Poland is big. What else do you want? But it's actually not just Poland. It's actually the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth. So they're biggest they ever got. There's also going to be a race between them, Germany, and I guess technically Czechia for some of this uncolonized land. Unfortunately, I think someone like Ukraine is pretty much screwed in this scenario. But Russia is going to be on their heels because the Polish-Lithuanians are really close to that capital. Technically speaking, Russia is still by far the number one country in terms of land area on the map. It's actually not even close. Close. And with that said, just because the video has a big Poland does not by any means mean that Poland is going to win. Poland could die like literally in the first two minutes. So let's go ahead and see who gets what most of this. I guess it was pretty much just shared between the three. No one got like a, a super amount. What is going on with this square? No one wants that? That's unwanted land. We also have the Faroe Islands racing Iceland as well as the uh, British for some of this stuff in the North Sea. We have the first alliances breaking out. Croatia versus Slovak. Here's a weird friendship. Both Cypresses. Why... I, whatever. So France and Germany are both fighting this conflict without any friends. I would assume that, okay, and Poland has now gotten themselves in their first war. It's them going after Moldavia. There's actually not a lot of room for them to work with at all. Moldavia could technically survive this, maybe. Albania is going after uh, Kosovo. They really want that Kosovo territory. They actually survived that somehow, though. France just got themselves into a war now with Belgium, so they've got a huge front to worry about. Where have I seen this before? The Poles are actually losing ground to the Moldavians. This is, this is what I'm saying. They literally could get taken out within the first minute. That is like the worst country to have declared war on. You, you have to squeeze around the Ukrainian borders. We've got a very strange Irish Luxembourg alliance going on. Also, uh, is Luxem Luxembourg is not even at war with France, but they're really gaining a lot of land because of it. Oh, France is almost out of money. Well, I guess everyone's almost out of money. There's not a whole lot of money to be made in the beginning of this game. Okay, I'm gonna be honestly really embarrassed if, if Poland just like collapses like this. Did they run out of money? No. Well, luckily their biggest enemy, Germany, is distracted right now. Well, no, actually, no, they're not any Anymore. Austria just joined the Slovenian Union with Bosnia. Also, Greece is, uh, well, they've never really been a fan of North Macedonia. They're trying to take them out. Turkey's finally done dealing with Syria. And luckily for Poland's sake, Germany's now put their sights on the Dutch. So, and they actually might be able to do that. They're very close to Amsterdam. Oh, okay. So Poland is actually gaining some ground. Oh, Moldavia lost money. They're, they're done. They lost all their money. Let's see if they can peace out. But I don't know if Poland's going to let them do that. They're probably kind of upset that they got briefly embarrassed there. The British are now trying to support the Dutch. They gave them some money but I don't think it's going to be enough. So there it is. Poland did take them out, but you know what? Ukraine got a lot out of that. Now it's Germany joining this Irish Luxembourg Union. So the UK might be on France's side. Oh, wow. I did not realize Belgium got that close to Paris. We've got Hungary trying to reform that Austro-Hungarian Empire, and they're going to do it. Oh, they took out two nations at once. Wow, Hungary's not playing around. Now they're fighting Slovenia and Croatia. Are they going to keep on going? Hungary is buds. They do have like a loving relationship with Poland. Well, they kind of, it's a little bit rocky, but they're best buds. Maybe they have to show off like their skills here too. The Germans have not quite taken out. Oh, Poland is now going after Czechia. Uh, the Germans are actually not able to push because Belgium has got an extra piece of land. Whatever's going on with that, it's, it's real weird. Like the neutral nations are picking up land somehow. Poland now fighting two. That's a huge front to worry about. Also, Germany might be done. Yep, they lost all their gold, all their economy. Is this Denmark that now jumped on board? That's evil, Denmark. Denmark's actually going to get the kill. Oh, they peaced out the last second. Where? Wait, where did they move their capital to? That is still the German capital. Capital. This is literally a repeat of uh, the Cold War. That is like a Berlin, a really weird Berlin, far behind enemy lines. I mean, historically, they've done it once, so maybe it's easy to do it again. This is the new German borders. They kind of just have Bavarian territory. Serbia is now fighting Hungary. Uh, they are trying to take out Slovenia, but they did peace out with Croatia. The last thing Poland needs, ooh, now Hungary's gone. Okay, so Hungary tried their best. Poland's done. Poland just lost all their money. Unless they can pull a Germany right now, peace out immediately. Nope, it's going to be Ukraine. Ukraine was not too happy. So now we basically basically have a new game. What if uh, Europe 2023 map, but Ukraine is really, really big. Man, they had such a strong start to, well, actually not really. They got embarrassed pretty early on. Who took out, oh, was it Sweden that backstabbed Denmark? Okay, there's a lot of land to be eaten up, and I think it's the Dutch that are going to get most of this. Czechia is looking big. Czechia is like a modern day Poland in a way. Who is this? Estonia eating up the Baltics? We also finally have the UK trying to take out Ireland, but they didn't get, oh, so I think Ireland just has Luxembourg on their team right now, but Luxembourg can't do anything about the British. I want to say it is totally possible that Poland regains their freedom by revolting. This might be way too much land for Ukraine, especially this early on. They were so small before. I actually wouldn't be surprised if Poland does make a cameo at some point in this video. It's even possible they still win. It would be really difficult. They're going to need a miracle. Already, I'm liking the way this world is shaped, though. It's really strange. Obviously, nothing really came out of the Turkish-Syrian war. There's actually a war with Syria and, uh, is it Israel? I guess it's Israel. Oh, bam. And, uh, is that Jordan that just got taken out? Yep, it was Jordan. Now it's Morocco versus 
Algeria. The African nations kind of get to fight solo by themselves down here. We'll see if Spain gets involved, but I doubt it. Italy has a hard time attacking Tunisia, I've noticed. The AI, it's hard to invade. It's not a whole lot of room to work with. AI has trouble with that. Now the Turks are going after Georgia. They are definitely not going to take out Georgia. That will probably be Russia at some point. Russia hasn't done anything. They're actually just watching. Allying to the Finns is probably a good idea, though. Don't make the Finns upset. They know that. Once again, Belgium is trying to single-handedly eliminate the French. We'll see if the British get involved in that. The Netherlands are now trying to invade the Swedes. Swedes rebringing that whole northern empire. They have a little bit of Baltic land. We'll see if they can get more. Belgium is actually going to take out France. This is this is such a weird game. I've never seen these nations do so well. It's going to be Switzerland that's also very big because Italy's kind of smack. They're actually really slow to grow. I don't really know what's going on with Italy. They already have a bunch of buddies here. Is that Romania that just got taken out? Romania was conquered by Bulgaria, so Ukraine has gotten even bigger. That really means that this is probably too much for Ukraine. They could be having some stability problems very soon, and they, they could completely break apart. Okay, so we have a thick Belgium, a thick Switzerland, a thick Dutch, and also thick uh, Czechia. Also, Serbia is kind of a weird de facto Yugoslavia again. Norway and Estonia have just formed an alliance. I'm assuming that Norway probably doesn't like Sweden too much. Also, the Faroe Islands having some success here in the North Sea. They actually might make it to Scotland. They pretty much have. There's also a war. The Italians trying to go after after Albania. They actually lost the heel of their boot. Literally nothing has come out of Africa. No border changes at all. Also, the Middle East is about the same. Once again, Georgia actually ended up, I think, taking a little bit of Turkish land. These countries are really protected by the Caucasus Mountains, as you can see. Almost thought that uh, Estonia kicked out the Swedes, but they have a very similar color. All these nations have a very similar color. It's now Czechia. Wow, this is quite the alliance. Czechia and Belgium teaming up against the Dutch and the British. Also, uh, the British did not take out Ireland. Ooh, so Belgium is having issues because they have to move through the Dutch and they're also fighting the English in the English Channel. Oh, these are some... Oh, that's... I don't even know what's going on, but Czechia is looking like a big force. Also, their capital is in the middle of their territory, which is good for them. It's going to be hard to take their capital, obviously. Serbia now finally moving. They're trying to get their revenge on Croatia and Bosnia. We'll see. Meanwhile, Slovenia is just trying to act natural, I think. Very likely could be the end of the Dutch, possibly. Uh, Ukraine, when are you going to attack Russia? Or Russia, when are you going to do something? And there, it was actually the Belgians that lost. I don't even know really how that happened. Somehow the Dutch survived. They're getting even more land. We have a very thick Switzerland lake too. Also Spain getting a lot of Western France all the way up to Brittany too. I need to learn the French accent for that. I'm sure it's not pronounced Brittany. I've always just imagined like Britney Spears. Belgium is having a little bit of trouble against Turkey and Palestine has taken out Israel. Meanwhile, they're also fighting Saudi Arabia with the help of Iraq. Oh, Croatia is so close. Are they going to finally do it? Nope, not even they can do it. So the Dutch are pretty uh, powerful in this universe for some reason reason no one can take them out just yet maybe it's a little early to say no one look at the fro islands go they got a lot get a big chunk of scotland there it is finally okay so maybe all right maybe that's why ukraine didn't want to do this because they are getting absolutely demolished that is a very huge russia that will form if ukraine falls that is that is not good i don't even know why that's happening they oh russia has way more money i think maybe russia has been waiting for this to happen for a while you also have no friends meanwhile russia has finland not that finland's really doing that much here ireland no longer has luxembourg but they do have the fro Islands to counteract the British. We also have an Iberian Union with the help of Morocco. That's a that's a crazy one. Very interesting teams that have formed it. There goes Ukraine. But you know what? Serbia, Bulgaria, and Czechia are really benefiting a lot from this. We also have Serbia and Bulgaria fighting. Now, the last time I think, I think the last time I did a European battle, Bulgaria won. Do not uh, underestimate, no matter how small the nation is, anyone can win here. Okay, there goes Ireland. They're now about a pixel away from Dublin, what, what it looks like. Although, maybe the Fro Islands can provide a lot of support here in the north. We will not see a re repeat of Bulgaria winning. We now have a very thick Serbia. I'm liking this Serbia. Also, the uh, both Cyprus nations have been taken out. Turkey is now trying to do a land invasion or a naval invasion of Lebanon. Interesting Greece that we have here as well. A repeat of the, uh, I don't even really know what's going on. Sweden is trying to single-handedly take on both Finland and Russia. They need Estonia to join in, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Norway might actually backstab Sweden. Once again, Italy is trying to fight off Albania. They've got some friends. Oh, Slovenia. It's, oh, it's actually Bosnia that got eaten. Looks like this is going to end in Maybe a stalemate unless Sweden runs out of money. It's possible, but I doubt it. Now, Iceland trying to counteract the Faroe Islands. They don't have any friends. They're just trying to, I don't know, do something in this game. It's really difficult for 
Iceland in this map, obviously. So Sweden gained some territory out of that, believe it or not. They got a pretty good chunk of that former Lithuanian Polish land, that is. Who is this? This is Montenegro? What? How did Montenegro become the equivalent of Chile in Europe in this game? And they actually might get even bigger because they are really moving in after that Croatian capital. A revolt. We have our first revolt. It is the North uh, Cyprus. The North Cyprusinians? What, what is that even called? They've got 11 gold. Okay, I don't know how long they're going to really survive. Okay, you guys needed to join in, I think, a little bit earlier, but now Norway and Estonia are fighting Finland and Russia. Uh, Finland is losing a little bit of their northern land, though. Interesting teams. Czech has decided to team up with Switzerland, the Dutch, and the UK. That's a pretty strong alliance. Probably all together, they're still nowhere near the strength that Russia has right now. Ooh, big money. Who gave that money? Sweden giving money to Ireland. Oh, I guess it's because they have a little team. I, I, Sweden doesn't have any other friends to really work with. There are some alliances in this map that are not a comparable, I guess you could say, to the others. Serbia and Turkey. That is a team I never thought I'd see. Ooh, big collapse there. Finland actually moved across the Baltic Sea and eliminated Estonia. Sweden got a lot out of that, though. And Norway's managed to peace out. They don't want to deal with that anymore. So without their friends Estonia, Norway's decided to join this uh, Baltic League. Oh, no, Ireland League. I'm sorry. Ireland looking good. They actually unified their island. So it's Ireland, the Fro Island, Sweden, and Norway. Weird team, but they have to do something here. Unfortunately, this is one of the weaker ones. Greece, Albania, and is that Montenegro? Uh, they did. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Montenegro's looking like kind of a force to be reckoned with. I don't know how Slovenia's still alive, but I guess they're smashed between an alliance. That's how. Italy trying their best to keep Croatia alive by giving them some money, but I don't know if that's going to work. The Middle East still pretty much not a whole lot's happened, and especially nothing in North Africa. And another war between the Swedes. Okay, this time they have some friends, though. Well, at least they have one friend. You have Norway. Sweden once again trying to reform. They, they want that revenge. They tried this once in the 1700s. It didn't work against... Oh, they're actually getting pushed way out. Oh, boy. This is really bad. And also, Finland is... They're going to take Stockholm. Oh, they peaced out last second. That is exactly what you needed. Survive. Just live long enough to see yourself survive another day. That's really what you need at this point. Now Russia's turned their, their sights on Serbia and Turkey. Meanwhile, kind of a big civil war happening in the Middle East. Ooh, Czechia's kind of backstabbed Serbia. Serbia had to peace out against Russia because now they have this huge front to deal with. Okay, it's not, not anymore. Italy moving in after Switzerland. Finally, the Iberian Union's decided to do something. Oh, but, oh, that's right. The British have the Strait of Gibraltar, so they're able to move in through southern Iberia, but man, look at the Swiss go. They've actually reclaimed most of modern-day French lands. The British are having to fight Morocco, too, in North Africa. Africa, though, though, so that's kind of a problem. Everyone's throwing around money. There's a Cold War happening. Czechia is actually pushing out the Swedes. Yeah, the Swedes are not looking too good anymore. Okay, we do have a revolution. Hungary is now back. Okay, so if Hungary came back, maybe we will see Poland. Also, Czechia just regained. Is that Warsaw? I believe this is Uncord Lands. It's more likely that that has a revolt that happens. Georgia and Kazakhstan working together to try to, you know, kind of slow down Russia's snowballing effect. Switzerland's looking pretty good here. There goes Sweden again. They're going to try once again. They're actually taking back a lot of the Finnish lands, but do you have, okay, Norway is helping you out a little bit, but it's kind of difficult. Okay, Russia has had to fight many wars. They have a lot of enemies right now. Russia kind of has only one friend, and that's not really the spot that you want to be in. I guess everyone knows that Russia is the number one power to take out. They're having to fight pretty much every angle. If Finland betrays them, then they're really in trouble. Sweden, once again, in another war. They really believe that they can take out, I mean, they, they're only a couple pixels away. They need to ally to these guys. Unfortunately, they have their own alliance, I think. Yeah, they're just kind of in a Georgia-Kazakhstan alliance. I don't know if that's going to break anytime soon. Iceland doesn't have any friends. Maybe someone should, you know, well, I don't know what Iceland's really going to do for you. Now Russia is once again fight. Oh man, there's so many new nations popping out of Serbia. There was a lot of smaller nations here. That's why a lot of revolts are going to happen. It's the Balkans anyways. What, what else do you expect? Oh man, Russia, this is not good. This is not the spot that you want to be in. They still have a lot of money though, so they're okay. We now have Albania and Romania popping out of Serbia. I think there was a brief war between the Swiss and Spanish once again. Once again, the Fro Islands trying to keep Ireland safe. Oh man, Georgia making a a lot of progress in the Caucasus Mountains moving up north. Norway is really not able to help out Sweden too much. I mean, Sweden really cannot let Ireland die. Ireland helps out, I think, a lot economically. So does maybe the, I mean, maybe not a lot. Okay, and Ireland's gonna die. This is really gonna hurt Sweden's movement inside of Russia. They want as many friends as possible. I guess they can still use Iceland. Iceland's got some money to give. Now Russia's at war with Czechia. I'm not even sure why. Uh, Germany's now back. I really want to see Poland. I'm telling you, Ger Poland could so come back. I think they just cord this stuff, but this land's gonna constantly change hands. Poland, I think is going to come back. Mark my words. I don't want, well, maybe don't mark them. Don't hold me to it. Bulgaria is fighting on all different sides, but they're, they're okay. Oh boy, Jordan. Yeah, you had to piece out of that. Make sure you get that economy rebuilding. Luckily, Sweden's in a good relationship with Czechia right now. Oh, they just became friends with Germany. That's kind of weird. They had to get a new one because Ireland's now gone. Spain is now pushing into France, but they are also having, a, did Switzerland leave this alliance? No. Somehow Spain just got themselves into a two-front war with two different alliances.
alliances, that's not where you want to go. And they just lost Portugal. So Portugal's going to change teams. Someone can recruit Portugal on their side. Somehow Greece is still around. Finland trying to aid Russia in their war against Kazakhstan and Georgia. They're really close to Kazakhstan, but oh, that is not what you wanted. That is the problem with allying to Germany because Czechia wanted Germany back. It's actually possible. Czechia's got a lot of fronts to deal with. Ooh, Sweden. <laughs> You're scaring me, Sweden. You're scaring me right now. Okay, yeah, you pieced out with Russia. That was definitely the right idea. If Russia falls, that would be a lot of nations that could uh, take up and eat a lot of this land. Here goes Serbia once again after, with the help of one of the nations that revolted, uh, Romania. Or did Romania revolt from Turkey? I don't even know. Well, they're cool with them. That's like the British and USA becoming friends like 100 years after the American Revolution. Kind of weird, a little bit awkward, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Swiss really being aided a lot by the Dutch, the British, and Czechia. Oh, Portugal finally backstabs Spain. But who is Spain? Spain's side. Spain is on nobody's side right now. Oh, do you get eliminated here? Really big Balkan. There's kind of like a reformation of the Ottomans almost. So Sweden did resort to just allying to Iceland. Oh man, is this it? They're getting really close. Also, Finland is starting to lose a significant amount of power. Is Finland finally going to die? They are really close. Nope, nope. They were so close. That would have changed everything. How much has the AI started to whittle away? Russians are still way on top. Sweden is the number two power in terms of uh, area. This is max area though. In terms of nations that are around right now. Wow, yeah, still no one is even close to Russia. I really believe that, like, single-handedly, Finland is keeping Russia alive. Ooh, this is an interesting backstab. Uh, Serbia going after Sweden briefly, momentarily there. I think without, uh, Finland, Russia would have died a long time ago. Oh, Bosnia almost, they almost grabbed that Serbian capital. They were so close. They're about to run out of money, though. Oh, they did. They did grab the Serbian capital. Now it's time for maybe Czechia to get that. This alliance, this Western European alliance is still holding strong between Czechia, the Netherlands, the UK, and the Swiss. Serbia's dropping. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, they got pushed back. They're actually like equally as powerful. The problem with all the revolts that Serbia is trying to deal with is Turkey finally going to clean up the Middle East. They're very close to Syria. And if they get Syria, they're going to get to be able to take out uh, Arabia, it looks like. Oh, is are you guys allied to? Oh, all the corner nations are allied. Kosovo finally eliminated Greece. I don't even know what that nation is. Star Valley? Are they farming there or what? Oh, Spain took out Portugal. I, I missed that. Also, uh, Turkey took out Syria and they might take out Saudi Arabia. This is really, really bad for the, the team that's trying to take out Russia. I don't know if Turkey's going to be able to do it because it's really hard to eliminate Georgia from this side. The Swiss and Spanish are fighting a very interesting war. The Swiss, once they get a little bit further into, uh, yeah, Iberia, they can really start to have some progress. And there it is. Russia has actually... Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, Sweden. Chill. Sweden, chill. It's actually a Sweden that's hiding in Denmark. Also, Portugal just gained their freedom. They revolted. Uh, this is way too much. Oh, you killed Finland. That's why. Okay, and the Russians are dead. And immediately, immediately they revolted. That's crazy. The government collapsed and then immediately like a uh, I don't know a civil war took place basically and they won I don't even know what that is again but no Poland is this like a communist uprising is this a communist Russia they took out one of the revolts and they still are technically the Russian Federation but I, I feel like these are just like back to USSR days oh Finland was back too so Sweden got so big so fast they really couldn't handle it oh and now Serbia somehow who's still alive squeezed through there I don't even know how they did that to be honest oh Russia's actually allied to Kazakhstan and Georgia right now they had to because they lost Finland it is so possible that Russia gets all this stuff back. Holy crap. Yeah, they're, they are pissed, to say the least. Okay, Czechia is now back. Russia has pushed uh, Serbia way back into the Balkans. Oh, and somehow Kazakhstan and Georgia just eliminated Russia. This is absolute chaos. Now we have Turkey and Serbia moving in after Georgia. Turkey actually squeezed through the mountains. Oh, Norway actually finally took out the Fro Islands and Iceland. Oh, wait, is, is that Iceland? No, that's not Iceland. Okay, I was just making sure. Portugal once again trying to get the revenge on Spain. The Russians are back once again. Again, no one can keep this land. It's too chaotic. Czechia is actually taking back a lot of their former land from Sweden. They start off as a very small revolt. The Swiss have been eliminated, I think, by, maybe, was it Italy or was it Serbia? I don't know. They're both on the same team. Spain has finally dealt with Portugal, and now they're moving in after Morocco, who actually took a lot of Algeria. So almost everyone from North Africa is taken out because Italy finally got to Tunisia. Once again, Russia is fighting for their freedom. They are still up here. The UK taking a little bit of Norway, possibly more if they get to uh, Icelandic Norway. I don't even really really know what the team wait what okay uh spain just died because morocco got all of that talk about the re re conquista is someone finally gonna eliminate the dutch like I, I don't understand with russia not really who they used to be it's kazakhstan that's the number one nation italy actually made it they are two pixels away from making it to london however italy is also dealing with oh they're cool with serbia oh this is a crazy alliance it's morocco and the uk and the dutch it's a very that's a very weak alliance czechia and sweden and norway are all working together so there's like four big alliances that are happening in this world right now. Oh, there goes Russia. They finally got uh, just eaten, I think, by Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is the new Russia in this world. Is this it? Is 
are they gonna finally lose? Look how much money the Dutch have, and they're, they're so small. The Italians were kicked out of the British uh, Isles, that was huge, and the Dutch just got annexed by the British, there you go. Are we gonna finally see the collapse of Serbia? Nope, Serbia just will not go down. I like Morocco's spot, they've got a good, like, safe area, but yeah, the Italians are gonna cause them some trouble if they don't kick the Italians out of Tunisia. And now Kazakhstan has just annexed all of, uh, that was Georgia, right? Yep, Georgia. The problem now is that Kazakhstan has no friends. You kinda need some friends. Once again, they're fighting some pretty big wars, all completely alone, and finally Czechia has fallen, which actually might be a good thing because Sweden, wow, Sweden got really big for a second there. They were exploding. Goodness. Okay, Kazakhstan is fighting some crazy, okay, that's gotta be it for Sweden, maybe. Serbia's in a really good spot because the two people closest to their capital they're cool with for now, but alliances are gonna get crazy for a second. I think at a certain point, somebody's gonna get annexed into uh, Serbia. It might be the Italians if they don't get any bigger. If Serbia can be the one to wipe out the British, then definitely. Oh, when did Norway backstab Sweden? I'm not really surprised surprised about that, but, and there goes the fall of the Swedes, finally. Norway has most of the Nordic land. Wow, this is a really thick Serbia with a lot of big friends. Those are some friends. Now, is Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan does finally have some friends now. It's Morocco and the British. That's it. So we're down to pretty much two teams at this point, and of course the teams are going to change around a lot. It's like the fourth nation to make it to the British Isles and then get kicked out like two pixels away from London. Oh man, Italy was close to wiping out Morocco. They got to go all the way in the corner though. Oh, Morocco's got no money, especially if they keep giving it away to the British. I think I think if Serbia can keep this alliance, then they're probably going to win, even though they are in the middle of the map, which is the only concerning part. If Turkey can find a way around these Caucasus Mountains, that would be huge. They're close, but they need way more pixels than that. Oh, when did Serbia back? Oh, this is not good for Serbia. Uh, I don't know who dropped out of that alliance. Oh, they, they brought it back. Okay, I, that was a really bad thing for Serbia for a second there, especially because they were so close to winning. Wow, now the British have a Franco-British Union. Morocco's out of money. Oh boy, Morocco. Chill, Morocco. Luckily for that alliance, the British have pretty much limited funds. Kazakhstan does not. The British are in a really good spot because they have so much money. Oh, but Serbia has even more, unless they just die. Oh man, they actually grabbed London. Okay, but they're gonna get pushed back. London is now hiding in Ireland. I don't know how much longer Morocco can survive. They're probably gonna get annexed by the British, I think, actually. Ooh, Kazakhstan just lured in Turkey, which is huge. Serbia almost has all of England. They're gonna get back. Oh, it's is it now Istanbul? Is it is it Constantinople or Istanbul? I don't know. With Serbia controlling it. Holy crap, this is a big Serbia. Serbia is definitely Definitely strong. Uh, Turkey left the alliance with Kazakhstan. And there goes Morocco. Okay, Morocco is dying soon. Now the British can't even help in continental Europe almost anymore. This is going to save Italy from being annexed anytime soon once they take out the rest of Morocco. Because the bigger they get, the chances are unlikely they form like some sort of a union. It's almost a race between Turkey and Serbia to see who can take out Kazakhstan. I don't even know if taking out Kazakhstan is really possible though. Ooh, okay. So now the British are hiding in the Faroe Islands. But this is really not looking good. There's still only two teams. Actually, Turkey is remaining neutral. Uh, but it is Serbia and Italy versus Kazakhstan and the British. I am forgetting about Norway. How uh, Norway's got an economy. They're not doing bad. It's still possible the British uh, destroy Norway. I think Serbia's gonna... Oh, wow. So, okay, so uh, Brit the Brits are kind of back by eliminating Norway like that. I thought Norway was just gonna get annexed by Serbia anyways. The Brits weirdly backstabbed Kazakhstan for a second there. Kazakhstan has just uh, annexed Turkey. Turkey became the lesser partner. That means Italy just got annexed. Also, the Brits are gone. It's just a 2v2, and there it goes. Kazakhstan, you kind of, it was just too late. You had no friends. Well, I definitely didn't expect Serbia to win a game focused on Poland, but then again, Poland disappearing really early on is the most Polish thing that could happen, right? Big thanks to my patrons. I have cloned Drew, and I'm now training him to fight the imposter doing these videos. Subscribe to Drew John now. Denver. Australia is I real. Am I am not a patron. A fat, no Norway is Argentinian. Chase the Henson. Amateur archaeologist. Inquisitor. Jack Trigger is annoying. Lugs and Bird. 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 Lugs and